want to take leisure today, we're going to show you reference positions to work your elbows off of. So I'm here with Joey at Combat Arts in Mississauga, Ontario, and he's going to explain some of his drills on how his fighters develop awareness of reference positions to develop their elbows and inside game. Awesome. First of all, I want to give credit to two of my uh, Thai boxing coaches, uh, Matt Embry and Eddie Didorega. Both of them are Muay Thai champions, so they've been there, they've done it, they've actually used the stuff. So full credit for spending the time with me, my clumsy self, and teaching me the stuff, right? So I always find that when you're in a clinch range, you have to develop that kinesthetic awareness. You know, there's two, sites that you, there's two senses you use in fighting. You can see the actual technique or you feel the technique. Hopefully you're not feeling it like this. Hopefully you're getting some hands on the person, right? So I like to teach the elbows from reference points very similar to Jeet Kune Do, all right? Or any kind of trapping art. So Roy has an outside reference point, or you can have the inside, the coveted center line control, which everyone tries to uh, strive for, right? If he gets outside control, he can do, we'll say a jutsu, he can jerk it down, and throw that right elbow, beautiful. You do the same thing with the left elbow, and come right over the top. One small detail that I have to mention before I insult my instructors, is that it's a race. Right? What he wants to do is to make sure his elbow is higher than my elbow. Because if I can actually elbow him, it may not be as powerful, but despite the fact you get cut by an elbow, it sucks. So if I can get my elbow higher than his, I will actually win the game. So he wants to make a pressing motion down, there you go. And now look, his elbow is going to come right over the top. So he's going to beat me to the game. So once we get the reference point, it's a race. Who can raise their elbow higher than the other person? In this case here, Roy is better, he's sharper than me. He jutsu or paksa or whatever, gives me some forward pressure and slides over the top. Now, what if he gets inside control? If he gets inside control, it's the perfect time now to kind of spread the arms a little bit and do that vertical elbow. Beautiful. All right, so it all is based on reference points. He gets inside control here, up elbow here. And because I have outside control, I'm going to try to throw the right horizontal elbow. He can actually try to beat me. That's why we try to train those sensitivity drills like Kuba, etc to gain that kinesthetic awareness, that uh, touching, feeling stuff, right here. If I throw the right elbow, he feels it before he sees it, he's gonna intercept here my bicep. And then he can come again with a vertical elbow. That's why it's very important. You may not agree with maybe the combat tools from those particular drills, but nothing can beat those particular sensitivity drills for, for that kinesthetic awareness. There you go. Yeah. I think, oh, I, uh, one big, if you do this in a semi-programmed drill format, it allows you to pick up the intensity, right? A lot of fighters are very concerned about, well, I'm not doing this hard enough. Yeah. And that's fair, right? I mean, no one's suggesting that this is going to make you work in the ring at the speed you actually have to fight at. Right. So, uh, you know, the problem with free-flowing, especially at the beginning, is if, if we're playing this game, and so Joey takes the inside elbow, and then he does the vertical, at the same time I'm trying to do this, we end up kind of, one of us eats an elbow harder than we meant to. Right. If, especially when you pick up the intensity. So if we preset it to begin with, let's call that step one and two. That's beautiful, yeah. And then, always be aware that you're doing that neural flossing. You're basically flossing over and over and over the technique. So your body is like now memorizing the correct positioning for everything. So you don't have to train one million percent all the time to get the best of the technique. You can train one million percent on the bag, but if your hands are not up, you're not pivoting and everything, you're not developing that proper neural flossing for the technique. So learn how to slow it down a little bit so you actually ingrain into your nervous system how your body should actually move. Awesome. So, here we are, another great drill from Co Joey here at Commandant's in Mississauga, Ontario. Make sure you check them out. He's got a wonderful facility here, lots of top-notch instructors to choose from. Uh, Joey himself is great, of course, <laughs> but he's got people even better at their specialties. Better than me. Better which, than me. One of the things that I love about this gym. This is Roy, kick a legend, keep your chin down, and let you strike it. Yep.